burn it down. You have no guts to stay in this body. No work, no food. If you cannot release the last drop, burn down the last drop of your fat from your body. You have no right to stay in the body. Burn it down. You have to, if you don't have the capacity to burn out the last drop of a talent every day before you go to sleep, burn it down. You have no right to stay in this body. And if you individual think on that, if we go to the school, school is meant to create a discipline, a foundation. And if the schools have not created the discipline foundation for you to go back and practice it in your house and create a discipline and a foundation for the family to connect your joint family, family tree, burn down the school books. Don't attend the school. If you go to the university, you have to create a unique city. If you don't have that talent, don't go to the university. Burn it down, all those books. You have no right to live like a slave. You are a slave. Creators of slave masters come out of that slavery. Burn it down. The toughest of your toughest stone, burn it down. And when it melts, you have the creativity to your feet and roll like a thousand men warm. Today is the sixth story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones, written by Paul Rev. No loving kindness. There was an old woman in China who had supported a monk for over 20 years. She had built a little hut for him and fed him while he was made to. Finally, she wondered just what progress she has made in all this time. To find out, she obtained the help of a girl rich in desire. Go and embrace him, she told her, and then asked him suddenly, what now? The girl called upon the monk and with much ado carried him, asking him what he was going to do about it. An old tree grows on a cold rock in winter, replied the monk somewhat falsely. Nowhere is there any warmth. The girl returned and related what she had said. You think I fed that fellow for twenty years? exclaimed the old woman in anger. He showed no consideration for your needs, no disposition to explain your condition. He need not have responded to passion, but at least he should have evidenced some compassion. She at once went to the hut of the monk and burned it down. This is what the society has been doing all these years. The monk represents the MLA MPs, the councillors, the village panchayat members, chief ministers, prime ministers, presidents, company presidents, company managing directors, chairmen, school principals, school chairmen, block education officer, DGPI, deputy direct for public instruction. All these have been created just to watch and find out whether it brings in some kind of a power, some kind of, of a growth, creative growth, not the greed growth, not the destructive growth, but to make people to live in the only two things Purnamada, Purnamada, Purna, Purnamada, Chitta, Purnasya, Purnamada, Purnameva, to teach everybody a small circle, a small circle, a medium circle, a large circle, everything is small, but complete itself. Anything you start, you have finished it first. In that, you find the second one is Om Shanti, you find Shanti, peace. These are the only two things people want, nothing else. These two create the basics to understand the yin and the yang. And everybody knows positive and negative and create electricity. The wife and the husband create a love beauty. Questions and answers can should be creating a growth. There was an old woman in China who had supported a mom for over 20 years. Like how our people supported an MLM MP for five years. 
or continue for another 10, 5 years, continue for third year, continue for fourth year. I have a stupid MLA in Indranagar. He has supported him for four consecutive times. I have all my people around them. Not an inch has changed. Instead, they are coming to destroy our school and this monkey has got no guts to stand. What is what is people can do? Burn it down. Burn it down. If you don't do it now, we cannot allow this society to progress. She had built a little hut for him and fed him while he was meditating. All these managing directors, chairmen of the company, school principals, all these head of the institutions, chief ministers, prime ministers, all have been fed by the people. So that they can meditate in the sense when you meditate for the first time you find Brahman Shatra, Vaisha Shudra is broken into just not no thing. You don't feel Hindu, Christian, Muslim, Jaina, Buddha, Jewish, it breaks down to just a maintainer. You see everybody has beautiful God. You see your people, all the people, the students coming to the school, the employees walking into the companies. You see the people of your constituency moving with happiness. Yes. In that meditation, you don't differentiate between this party and that party. That's what she said. I built a little hut for him and fed him while he was married. Finally, she wondered just what progress he has made in all this time. People wanted to know what progress the school principals or head of the schools have done it. The employers who have taken so many people into the garment factories in hundreds and thousands. The money what they have made, what have they done back to these people who have worked over them? Did they create a share in the society? Or were, were they were, were in like enforcers who, 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 who gave shares to the employees but allowed their daughter to make the biggest amount of money? They had the tricks but they did not give the tricks. The Murti should have allowed his daughter to give the tricks to the other people in society. If they know to make that kind of money, the, the society or the society people also have made that kind of money, but that has not been discussed. Finally, she wondered just what progress is made in all this time. You'd like to know, the people in the country would like to know what progress we have appointed you as employers. Don't think it is your company, Murti. Don't think it is your company, Supro Chairman and other chairmen. We are given that like an MPML and yes. Now you have to show the progress what you contributed back to the society, not for your children alone. You find out she obtained the help of a girl rich in desire. Go and embrace him, she told her, and then ask him suddenly, what now? So the society decides, the lady decides to send this beautiful girl to that monk, and she said, you go and embrace him. Hug him, kiss him, and ask him, what now? Our people have to go and hug and kiss that employer, MLA and MP, councillors, and ask him, what now? We have now put you in the chair. We are thinking you are the security guard. You have declared that you will be our servant. And so that we can peacefully go around and work. When the rain comes, you collect the rainwater. When enough sunlight is there, you make 365 and you collect the solar. So we, we don't, you don't allow us to pay the electricity bill. You don't uh, allow us to feel that there, we are not getting 24 bar 7 water. Water security is done. Organic foods are allowed. Nobody falls sick because there are a lot of gymnasiums and yoga classes going on all around the constituency, all around the uh, factory, all around the school and colleges. What now? The girl called upon the monk and without much ado, I caressed him, asking what he was going to do about it. An old tree grows on a cold rock in winter, replied the monk somewhat poetically. An old tree is telling, I did not feel anything, what question you ask me? Because before the elections, I came to you. Before the elections came to you, Amma, Amma, with folded hands, Amma, Amma, Baramma, Baramma, Benny, please. Amma, give your feet. 
அப்பா கிவ் யூ ஸ்வீட் அண்ணா யூ கால்ட் அண்ணா அம்மா அப்பா என் மதர் ஃபாதர் கிவ் மீ தி ஓட் 